Hi, my name is Elise and I'm an AmeriCorps member here at the Tahoe Environmental Research Center in Incline Village showing off our brand new exhibit, Tahoe's Plastic Problem. So we start off with these two panels behind me and it starts by giving us just a brief overview of the plastic problem here at Lake Tahoe with some facts and figures about plastic that have already been collected off the beaches and underwater here at Lake Tahoe. And then we dive into this story, a day at the beach. And as you can see in this lovely beach scene, whoever has uh, set up camp for the day has brought a lot of plastics. And we use this to explain the difference between the resin identification codes. So numbers one through seven, you may remember on the bottom of a piece of plastic, you can check out and find out what type of plastic that is. So here we have a clean up the beach scene, and this is sort of modeling our day at the beach scene from up here and allows students and visitors to help clean it up by sorting the types of plastic into these buckets that have the resin identification codes. And again, it makes sure that we're driving home that the chasing arrow symbol doesn't necessarily mean that that plastic is recyclable. And you can learn more about those with these flip cards here. And each of our flip cards has information about that type of plastic. So number one plastic, and PET, is only 25% of it is ever recycled. Next, we move on to how plastics break apart in our environment. So the sign behind me reads that plastics break apart, but they don't break down. The pieces get smaller and smaller, but they never biodegrade or decompose. And that's really important when they get into our environment. And UC Davis Tahoe researchers are actually looking into this right now. They've started a research project to try to find out where those microplastics are ending up in our environment once they already get into it. So these next two hands-on activities allow you to become a scientist and use some of the same methods that our scientists here at UC Davis use to separate out those microplastics by size class. So it starts here with Shake It Out, and we have a sample, a sediment sample from Incline Beach right here that has sand as well as some plastics. And what this is for is to shake out different size classes of plastic. So we have a series of sieves here and we pour in our sample. And then go ahead and shake it out. Next up, we have the zoom in on microplastics hands-on activity. And this allows you to use a microscope to start to examine different shapes of microplastics. So these are foams commonly found in styrofoam, and you can take a look at them under the microscope. Finally, we move on to the last part of our Tahoe's Plastic Problem exhibit, and this is my personal favorite, the It's Time for Solutions panel and the Action Table. And this panel on the far right here explains some of the ways that we can move past the three R's that we all learned in elementary school, reduce, reuse, recycle. And this gives us six new R's to work with to start to implement the changes that we want to see. And so on our action table, we have some ways that you can implement those changes right here, right now in the Tahoe Science Center. So we'll take you through those. First, we have this take action sign, which is a real call to action for everyone who comes to the Tahoe Science Center. And we have two iPads and they start off 
This one is on uh, the Take Action page of the Break Free from Plastic movement made by the Story of Plastic. And there are lots of different campaigns that you can join, newsletters or different uh, resources for you to get involved in the movement. Next, we have some quick one-time to lifetime swaps. So we have here a reusable snack bag that is replacing Ziploc bags. We have a metal or bamboo spoon that would replace plastic utensils, and then all sorts of reusable containers that you can take with you on the go to replace single-use plastic items. And that's just to give you a little bit of inspiration. And then finally, when we move on to this represent task, we have some postcards that you can send directly to your representatives and a search tool to find them. I hope you enjoyed this part of our virtual tour with the Tahoe Environmental Research Center. Thanks so much.